Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. It's Monday, starting the week in such a gorgeous way. <laughs> I ate something last night that has not agreed with me, so that's funky and fresh. Um, yeah, I've not been very well this morning. <laughs> And it's really taken out of me, I can't do anything. Uh, but I'm starting to feel a bit better. Too much information for the start of the vlog? No, I disagree. I bought a rug. We're gonna see if it looks nice. Oh God, I'm not gonna tuck my stuff in today. I tried to put on leggings, like really quick, like biker shorts, really compressive biker shorts, and my stomach said, no, not today. So we're going with the flow. Um, I got this rug from Ikea and it looks Smaller than I thought it would be. I need scissors. I probably should have measured my room before buying a rug, but I saw this. I was looking online and I, I just didn't want to buy anything online because I couldn't tell if it was good or not. Yeah, I think it could be good. I'm excited to have it down on the floor because the dogs are sliding about in here whenever they come in and I don't like it. So a nice rug will give them somewhere to lie. And it's not, it's not like a pure fluffy soft rug, I didn't want that, I wanted like something with a bit of texture to it. So it's not going to be like a super comfy rug that you would want to lie on, but I think it'll be really good. I like the colour already. It's called the Hellestead. Hellestead? It was £80, which I think is quite good for a big rug. Whoa. I also got a thing that I can put under the mat that stops it from sliding around, so we'll do that too. Hi, baby. I also got a new desk. It's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> I feel like there's certain things that you would splurge on when you're doing your decoration and stuff like that. But see if I just like, I just wanted a natural, nice, like kind of jute rug. And when I saw this, I was like, why on earth would I spend more money than 80 pounds? if this is what I want. And in the same way, if you find something that you love and it's more expensive, get it, because you love it. Oh, cool, she's thick. Oh, nice. Definitely not as big as I thought it would be. Is it long? Da, 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 da. <laughs> what do you think? Do you know what? It's pretty soft underfoot. I like it. So it needs to flatten out, but I think that looks nice, look. I think that the texture is lovely. And actually, something that I saw online is mixing rugs. Someone last week in the vlog messaged me saying, go and watch Kendall Jenner's video with Architectural Digest. And it was amazing. Her house is absolutely flawless, in my opinion. I love it. What she's done in one of the rooms is she's got a really large rug and then a kind of smaller rug on top, like two rugs on top of each other. And I really liked it. But something else that I've noticed that I really like is a few different rugs in the one room. Like this room, the floor space is quite big. So... To have a rug that filled the whole room, it would feel very, very big. But because this room's kind of in sections, I wonder whether a smaller rug like this with the wee poofy on top, and then I can have a separate rug under here for a film. Not this one. I think I'm going to have to change this one now because I don't like it anymore. It's also so old. I got it at next in the clearance, I think. But I really like that. I really like it, I think. Oh, God, I don't know. Also, it's one of those rugs I can literally put this anywhere in the house and it'll look good. Is that a pool? Oh no, let's just cut that. Swiss Army knife is the best gift, one of the best gifts I've ever got. There we go, that's a bit better. Hi there, I've done my day. It's quarter to eight in the evening. It's a lovely evening, actually it's very still, very calm. That's my new desk. So we went to Ikea on Sunday and I got all the stuff that I, that I wanted. I wrote a list and I literally got just what was on my list. Are you proud of me? I got a new desk system. So for my makeup desk, I've had this set up for ages. It's literally a little desk top from Ikea that's like nine pounds. And then you buy the four legs and then I had an Alex drawers next to it, which I'd had since the flat, so super old. And it worked really well. And do you know what? I was looking at furniture and I was thinking like, do I get something like more expensive? Do I splurge on this? Do I spend more money? And honestly, what's the point? What is the point? But it works really well. It does what I need it to. I need it to be white because the white desk reflects light up into my face, which is nice for filming. I like it being white because then I can see if there's any makeup on it so I can clean it. I like it being easy to clean. So real wood with a grain isn't good for makeup. So anyway, I ended up sticking with Ikea and I got this. 
It is a slightly larger desk, so it's got a wee bit more space on top. This side here is like the legs, but it's got a little kind of shelf. The other side is Alex drawers, so that's what the desk sits on top of. I just thought this would be really useful. And because this end is what you see, it'll just look really neat and tidy. So let's move this around. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I just shut it on my hand. Oh my God, that's not bending. Go on, go on, yes. It's going to be so nice to get rid of this table because it is disgusting. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready for that? I'll just get it from the bottom. Okay. Careful, careful. Excuse me, dog, but... You've got it really high. That'll hurt your back, actually. Stand up. <laughs> go in. Where, look for the rug ends. For the rug ends. I didn't know that side first. Maybe. That is squint. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, Jack! That's it. Thank you, bye! Whoa, that's a bit... Oh, that's not on right. He's not built this right. A little Juno update. She's doing really, really well. Uh, she's pretty much back to her normal self, but that's kind of not good because she just wants to run free and be a young dog, be a young, a young bitch again. And she can't because she's still healing, so she's a wee bit fussy. She she used to wake me up by putting her head just right here and, and giving me kisses, but she's taken a liking to actually just sleep in here. And that is so sweet and so great. But last night she was on top of the covers and it made me feel trapped like a moth in a bath. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I couldn't breathe last night. Oh, obviously she just had her operation as well, so I can't exactly say to her, you need to, you need to get up from your comfortable position and get lost. Nope. So I, I, what did I do? I lay there all night like that. I woke up 10 times. Anyway, she's doing really good. She said thank you for all the well wishes. Uh, I'm really happy with that desk. It's just, ugh, I mean, how excited can you get about a white desk, really? But see from the side, like you come in and it's just nice and solid. I've got all the storage that I need. Really good. Now, my plan was to have this bin in here. Ha, it does fit. How good. So that's how they had it in the showroom. They had a bin on top. So that's quite smart, actually. This is one of my favorite things about this room. At this time of night, what is it, seven o'clock or something? You just get the nicest light. If it's like sunny, it literally just peeks through the stained glass and it's just so pretty. Evening. I've got a parcel. Get my trusty Swiss Army knife. Do you know, fun story, I got a Swiss Army knife in Switzerland when I was young. Uh, that sounds like... <laughs> it sounds like the French story I'm about to tell you when I used to go backpacking in Europe. Me and my mum and dad, we actually went backpacking in Europe. We went three times in total. One time in a camper van. We had a Volkswagen camper van when I was growing up. I loved it so much. So did my mum and dad. We had the best times in there. And we used to go around Scotland and we went down... I think we went down south as well and then we took the van over the, I think we got the ferry to Brussels and then we went through loads of different places and it was honestly it's some of my fondest memories. Me, mum and dad went and we would meet my family and we would all be in Switzerland together. So it was such a, I, think I feel like it's quite a strange place to have gone when I was young. Like, it, like I suppose everyone, like I went to Mallorca and stuff but feel very lucky that I got to go. But when we were in Switzerland, I was like early, early teens, maybe 11. I got a Swiss Army knife from an actual Victorinox, Victorinox, Victorinox? From an actual Victorinox shop and it was matte red and I thought it was so cool. I loved it so much and I lost it going hill walking with my dad. I sound so outdoorsy right now. I hadn't had another one since. And then my dad got me this one for Christmas just past, and I use it all the time. Ooh. May brand of the month, Cult Beauty and Sunday Riley. Exciting. Oh, exciting. Fairy Godmother, Shimmering Body Gel. Yes, yes, yes. My dressing gown. It's got my name on it. Oh my God, what a luxury little thing. Wowie. That is so smart. They've got a whole set for waking up. So you've got all the products you would need for your morning routine in one handy little box. Oh my god, and they're cute sizes! That is genius. And they've got the exact same thing for bedtime. Go to bed with me, wake up with me. That's such a sweet idea. I love that. 
that's actually quite cool. Some of the products are the same in each box. So depending on where you're needing help with your, your steps, you can pick one or the other. Oh my goodness. I bet this smells great. Fairy Godmother Shimmering Body Oil Gel. I'm too excited. Yep, it smells amazing. Oh my goodness. Sinks in like a dream. It smells like, oh my God, kind of like vanilla and holidays mixed into one, but very decadent, quite a, like a luxurious scent. I really like the cult do the brand of the month. I feel like they really spotlight. And next month, I know what brand of the month it is and I'm doing a little bit of work with them and I'm very, very, very thrilled. Um, those little sets, the Go To Bed With Me kit is £76 and the Wake Up With Me kit is £81, but you get something for free. Basically, the way it works out is you save money. So if you want to try some products, save a little bit of money, not invest in the big, big sizes until you know that you love it. Such a good idea. I really like that idea. Do you guys like being able to buy a smaller thing to try before you invest in the full size product. That's something that I'm quite interested in. Thank you very much, Cult Beauty. That's the first thing that I've opened in my new room. I would say that we're off to a good start. I'm gonna go and take my makeup off and go to my bed. Mondays are always, well, they're very Monday for me. Um, we've got two meetings that are on repeat every single week. At half past two, we have a meeting with our product team. For Vive, so we go through everything that's in. Oh god, that's pretty exciting, isn't it? Everything that's in production, everything that's getting worked on, and the progress for each week. So it's basically it's a really it's good because it, it really lets everyone know what they need to be doing ahead of the next Monday meeting. And then at four o'clock we have a meet. That meeting usually runs till four o'clock, and then at four o'clock we've got another meeting, which is our brand update. So it's the whole team on a call going over the week, how we did what's going on, uh, what changes need made, what we can celebrate. It's so great, it's the only chance that we really get to have the whole team together because the rest of the time everyone's away doing their own thing, if that makes sense. But we've got a couple of big meetings this week and next going over the plan for 2021, the remainder. So I am gonna be a bit of a, like a bookworm. I'm just gonna have my head, a laptop worm. I'm gonna have my, le my head stuck in my laptop getting prepped for those meetings. But this week, apart from my usual meetings and the extra meetings, I have a couple of brand deals to work on. I have, re I really want to get completely moved in and the old room tidy. I've not looked at it since Saturday when I've like did most of it. It's such a mess. But I'm really hoping that I get to do that tomorrow. And then I'd really like to move into that room because that's our plan. We're gonna move our bedroom into the spare room. So I think after my birthday, my birthday is late June. After my birthday, I think we're gonna bid adieu to the ensuite and our bedroom and get everything that we need to get done, done. So it's the same process as the rest of the house really. It's electrics, it's floor, it's for the ensuite we need to rip it completely out. But we are gonna sit down and we're gonna plan what's gonna go in that ensuite. We've just decided to source the stuff ourselves. Because I'm so particular about what I would like, um, I think that companies are brilliant and like, you know, like a one-stop shop where you go and you say, I would like a new bathroom and they do everything. They find the stuff, they find the plumber, they find the tiler and everything like that, that's fine. I just know exactly what I would like for the ensuite and because this is like probably the, I don't wanna say the biggest, but this is, this is like me getting my dream bathroom. I've never renovated a bathroom before, so I definitely want to, every little detail to be my choice. Otherwise, you know, I'd hate down the line to not like a part of it, but it, I'll find it a lot easier if it was me that completely chose it, because then I'm like, oh, it's my fault. So that's our plan. That means if we get out of that place, we can get the bathroom ripped out, the bedroom done, the bathroom hopefully done, and then hopefully by the start, I would, I, I'm putting a, a, a rough time scale of before winter to have a new ensuite. That feels very soon, but that's what would be brilliant. That would be great. Okay, I'm gonna go take my makeup off and go to my bed. Hi guys, me in my favorite spot again. Uh, this is actually Jamie from the future because I am very happy and excited to say that this little portion of the vlog is sponsored. You guys are gonna laugh at this because these are products I've all spoke about a million times, especially lately. I am gonna be talking you through a few of my favourite SPFs. And the reason I'm saying it's Jimmy from the future is because I've got different nails and I know that you guys will be like, ah, 
what's going on. Yeah, I'm so happy to be working with these brands. None of you guys are gonna be shocked at all, but I've got some more information on the products that I've been sharing, and I've got some information on an offer as well. I'm gonna quickly show you what they are. We have the La Roche-Posay Hilu B5 Aqua Gel SPF 30. These are my personal, so they look pretty wrecked. I have been using this a lot, quite new. It is the amazing gel SPF, SPF 30, and it is full of hyaluronic acid, super hydrating, really, really creamy gel-like texture. I've been really liking this on no makeup days like today. I've got a red lip on, but I don't have anything on my skin at all, which is great. I think as well, SPF is something that's really important to us all at the moment. And you know, better late than never, I think. <laughs> and my skin since using SPF has never looked so clear. I have just rubbed that in and that is the texture. You can see it's got a really nice glow to it, super lightweight, which makes it perfect underneath makeup. You've got your SPF 30 in there, which is great. No cast at all, obviously, because it's a gel texture. So the hyaluronic acid will plump your skin, it will really hydrate your skin as well. And it's got antioxidants in it as well, which are great for kind of external stressors for your skin. It is a really simple one and done product. The next is an oldie but goodie. I've talked about this a million times. This is La Roche Posay Anthelios. This is SPF 50, so it's a little bit, little bit stronger of an SPF. I'm gonna take some on my hand so you can see what the texture's like. So this one is more of your kind of classic SPF color, I guess, but you can see I had loads on my hand there. See, as soon as you start rubbing it in, it just disappears into the skin. I love Anthelios. It's probably my first SPF that I would use on my face every single day. Yeah, it's literally the first SPF I fell in love with, and I think it's because it's just so easy to use. Again, really, really nice under makeup. I think I took this on like a trip with me and I really just loved the little dinky packaging. Sinks into the skin really, really quickly. It's not greasy at all. This SPF was actually made with sensitive skin in mind. It's very, very gentle. Got SPF 50 protection against UVA and UVB. The way that I always remember the difference between UVA and UVB or the way that it affects your skin. I cannot remember who taught me this, but it was you will age and you will burn. And then the last SPF I've got to talk about, I am sure that I mentioned this years ago because this is the SPF that I took with me to Vegas on my Hindu. This is the Vichy SPF 50. It wasn't this exact one I took with me to Vegas, but it's this classic packaging. This is the SPF 50 UVA, UVB protection, both. Absorbs super quick into the skin. It's one of those products that has a uh, water part and an oil part. So you just shake it, shake it to wake it. And this is actually the enhanced tan version. So I love the sun. I love lying in the sun and I like getting a lovely tan. Another misconception that if you use suntan lotion or SPF, you won't get as good a tan? No, you get a better tan. You get a better tan because your skin's protected, hydrated, you won't burn. It basically means that you can actually sit in the sun, be protected, you'll still, you'll still get a lovely tan, you will. And I think that with the weather just about to change, this weekend's meant to be pretty spectacular, plus the bank holiday, so I'm very happy about that. If you're looking for an SPF this summer, I highly recommend. I will link all those products down below, but what makes this even nicer is until the 29th of June, all of these brands are three for two at Boots Just Now, so you can stock up on your favorite SPF, you can try something new. There's other La Roche-Posay products that I speak about all the time, like the Cica Plus Lip Balm, their Hyaluronic Acid, their Tolerine Spray. I'm really excited to be, to be sponsored this little section. I hope you enjoy um, any of these if you try them. Good morning. I'm sick of myself. <laughs> I'm sick of putting on the same doggies every day. I wore this t-shirt yesterday and then I slept in it. I'm not having it so I decided I'm gonna get fully ready. I'm gonna put clothes on, I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna do my hair and it's going to be so good. It's been so long. I feel like I've been slightly neglecting that side of myself. Uh, I just wake up, I put my comfy clothes on, I get my work done, I go have a bath and go to bed and I'm sick of it. So I'm going to transform myself. I'm going to go and have a shower, do my hair, makeup, put clothes on and I'll be back and it's going to be incredible and I'm not going to film it. I'm literally going to watch my show, do my makeup, I'm going to do something different. 
because I've been doing my makeup the same a lot and that's the challenge I've set for myself today. It's not even a challenge, but I just think, you know, we've been in this house for two and a half months. I do not have the excuse that my stuff's everywhere and that's just how it's going to be. I'm, I'm doing it. Look <sighs> at hair. At least my fringe is growing, look. Cute. I would say success. That's really interesting, isn't it? This little crimp. I was taking down my hair to show you my makeup properly, right? Because look, I really like my makeup today. I've been using a foundation because I'm a little bit paler just now. I went looking through my collection to see what paler foundations I had and I had this Kevin Aquan Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation and I really like it. I had to put on a little bit more around my jaw area for a reason that you won't know. So I put on more than I had, but see when you do a light layer of that foundation, oh my goodness me, it is gorgeous. On my eyes I have the Essential Palette on top of Vanilla Eye Wand, I really just love it. Treasure on my lips with Brat. I just felt like that. I tried to film or like test out a TikTok thing that I'd seen. I'm not even gonna explain anymore, I'm just gonna literally show you what happened. Listen. That wasn't great. I kind of succeeded in my getting ready for the day. I'm really happy that I did my makeup more than just natural. I really wanted to do something fun. And I think that this makeup looks really like a grungy summer. One other thing that I'll mention, I own quite a lot of these jumpers by now. You know, we're just doing some tests. Just, um, you know, changing, tweaking things. That's all I'll say. But just in case anyone wonders why I always wear the same jumper, it's because I own loads of them and they are great. And it's like a uniform. I work essentially Monday to Friday. So I wear my uniform when I'm working, normal. I have another piece of furniture that I'm gonna show you tonight. We're gonna to build it together. Well, I just need to put glass on it. But I'd like to talk to you about the feng shui of this room, uh, which we'll do in a bit. I'm gonna go and eat my dinner and I will be right back. Life hack, if you have long nails, just use tweezers for everything. These are the little sticky, like rubber dots that I'm putting on my new shelving unit so the glass isn't resting on the metal. Very clever. Also, how nice to get furniture delivered that you don't have to assemble. <laughs> I say that like I assembled the desk, I didn't jack it, but you know what I mean. Wow, tempered glass. How lovely are those shelves? I really like the height. I think they must be about a metre fifty. And we've got nice glass shelves. It just looks really minimal. I want to be quite careful with how much gold I've got in here because something that I've learned is that too much gold does the opposite of what you want it to do. It ends up just looking not great. And I can see that because that's what I used to do. <laughs> this colour here, I don't know if you can even tell on camera, but it's like a, more like a kind of antique bronze. So it's just like a really nice dark metal frame and I really like it. I like it here as well, if I come back, there's my unit and I just think if I've got a wee plant there, I'm gonna dress these shelves just now. First thing I need to do is tidy up my wardrobe. I think because I've got my new room, I'm feeling very inspired to keep on top of it. Let's see how long that lasts. And then actually I just chucked these dressing gowns in here. These are the Vive dressing gowns that I use for photo shoots. We've just washed them, washed and dried them so they're nice and fresh. Uh, I'm going to put them in storage until the next campaign shoot. Dead chuff with that. I just think that what this room's missing now is like, ni like nice bits. Oh my god, look, you can see how yellow the door is. Ah, oh, it's better. I need to put my door handle back on the door. The colour that we used in here is Faro and Ball all white. I've had white rooms in the past and I've used just Dulux like cheap white paint and this is so much nicer. You can call me mental but I think it's so nice. I'm not saying that Farrow and Ball are the best. There's loads of people that have been in touch saying that Johnston have got nicer paints. I think there's another company called Zoffany that's meant to be really nice as well. 
I just, because it's like, I'm not going to do this room up again for a really long time, I thought, why not buy the good stuff, plus it's really nice to paint with. Yeah, I like these shelves. Do you know the other place that I really like them? Tell me what you think. This monster that was getting repotted. So, with these shelves, I am being really careful not to scrape the floor. I really like them here. <laughs> Look. Let me talk you through it. I don't know anything about Feng Shui, so bear that in mind. The shelves being there is so cool because it's almost like a screen to where I sit to film. So it kind of closes off that area and then see if I was to have like a big plant here. I just, I think it's really cool. And then because the shelves have got these like bars, it doesn't really matter what way you look at it. And then it means that this space is free for something else. What do you think? Am I being crazy here? Maybe I should dress it so you can see what I'm talking about. I mean, it looks a bit shit from here, not gonna lie. But, like, see when we, I first put it in the room, we put it there and I was like, oh, I quite like that. It's a bit weird. It's kind of, see, because it's like a working room. Like, let's go outside. Let's pretend. Jamie, can I come in? Open. You've got dressing room area. You come through the hall. You come through the entrance. Maybe we've got a cute plant here. This is going to be nice books. Maybe like a candle on the top. Here, plants coming down. Oh, Jamie, yep. Yeah. Just making sure you're all right. Can I get you a cup of tea or anything? No, okay, yep, yeah, no problem. What do you think? It was nice there, wasn't it? Oh, I'll put it back just now and I'll wait until you tell me what you think. This is one of those occasions that I am so open to opinions. I am actively asking for your opinion. So have fun. Tell me. I asked for opinions on my Instagram stories yesterday about rugs and there were opinions. See, when it comes to this stuff, I'm a collaborator. If I've got a really good idea, then I'll go for it. Like the floors, I knew what I wanted. The walls, I knew that I wanted them all white. Cabinet, knew what I wanted. But when it comes to actually arranging the room, I want the best Feng Shui. Also, another thought I had was I don't love my filming stuff taking up space in the middle of the room. And I thought, I was like, do you know what I could do? I could put all the lighting and stuff against the wall and have the filming stuff facing this way, which means that that would be my backdrop instead of the white. I'm gonna film a video this week with this set up the way it is, but I think it might be quite nice and have an all my light, because it does, it does take up space in the middle of the room. I mean, that's what this room is for, but I just think if it was the other way around, I can tuck my chair in. And I feel like it would give me more floor space because the space that's behind my desk over there like won't be there. Feeling a wee bit uh, tired this week. It's only Tuesday, but I'm feeling like oof. Um, we've got a lot on at the moment. And I feel like Glasgow, if you live in Glasgow, I live in Scotland, I live in Glasgow. And we're getting we're, the rules here are just like the worst. <laughs> Everyone else is allowed to have people in their houses. They can go anywhere in the UK. Like, we're not allowed to leave Glasgow still. I'm just starting to get a bit sick and tired of it. Yeah, just the same as everyone. This has been really tough. And I think that, you know, we moved house and we're so, so lucky and grateful that we've been able to have done that. Part of me, I think, was ready for like newness. I was like, we're going to move house, everything's going to be fine. But actually, we've moved house since the pandemic. So it's just, you know, it's been a long time. I'm sure everyone's just a bit fed up. Like I, uh, my emotions are all over the place. Definitely cried today and yesterday and over the weekend. I'm a wee weepy mess right now. I don't know if anyone else is. Look, proof that I'm a weepy mess. Jack went to a florist today to get me flowers because he was like that. Ah. I'm totally fine. I'm being like, am I being pathetic? I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to, that's kind of like a weird thing to say, but I wanted to say it just in case anyone else is feeling the same way. Because I think it's pretty valid. I think that we've all got really used to just carrying on during all this. And you know, if you've been off work this whole time, that's so rubbish. If you've worked the whole time, that's so rubbish. Like, it's, it's really hard to do anything else. I think sometimes you just need to sit in it and just be like, ah, man. Oh, what a shit show. Apart from that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Uh, I kind of have like managed to get all my stuff done today. Usually I don't. The joys of having your own business, this is something that I've learned. You don't get time off. And I think, I don't really talk about 
running a business too much on here. Maybe I should do a Q&A or something like that because my life has hugely changed since the launch of Vive. Just, it's just like, it's, it's, it's so good, but it's, it's a lot. And I remember I watched a, oh, it wasn't even an interview. It was a, an event. I sneaky got invited to an American event and Anina Bing was speaking at this event. Uh, if you don't know who Anina Bing is, I really love her. She's a designer who lives in LA. She's not from LA. I think she's Scandinavian or Norway. But I really admire her. Um, she kinda, I kind of like feel like I can relate to her a little bit. Like She had a childhood, kind of more out in the country. It was great, super outdoorsy, you know, close with her family. Her career kind of kicked off when she was young, so she just got, like, she just had to get used to traveling a lot, and th not that that was me. She was a model. <laughs> Quite different. But um, I just always really liked her. And I went to this event. Everyone was asking questions, and she had really good advice, and it was normal. She's so normal. She's not like, I wake up. Well, actually, she does wake up really early. But you know, some of these, like, boss women, they're it's so, like, unrealistic. It's like they've got teams running their whole life. I was listening to Anina speak, and she launched her business, Anina Bing Official, which is her clothing brand, nine years ago, and now they've got 50 stores worldwide, right? So cool. All the major cities and the shops are like concept stores. They're, they're so beautiful inside as well. She launched her brand at the same time as having two young kids. Cannot imagine. Desi Perkins, hero to me. But everyone was asking questions and my question, oh God, what was it? It was like, I asked, what's the hardest thing that she's learned as a founder? I'm sure it was that because I had just launched Vive. And I think, I'm just going to say this. I think that there's a real glossy image over what having a business looks like. I think all we see is hustle culture. I think all we see is, you know, boss bitch vibes. CEO. It is so not glamorous like that. It is exhausting. <laughs> It's exhausting. And Anina said that, you know, for the first three, four years of her business, she did not see her friends. She did not get time off. She, when she wasn't working, she was spending time with her children. And that was it. That was it. And I found that really comforting. I was like, oh my God, finally some answers. I was like pulling my hair out. I was like, where do people get the time for this? And I, I think I'm a bit of a culprit in that because I've a weekly vlog, you know, sometimes the weekly vlogs have been short or they've been, you know, just me just sitting talking, but it's because I spend a crazy amount of time just sitting on my laptop and especially during the pandemic, like I'm not doing the fun parts of, of having a brand. I am still, like a lot of the fun stuff that I get is actually online, which is so nice because that's how this all started for me. But you know, I'm not going to the lab in Italy, which is one of my favorite things to do. I am not going to trade shows. I am not seeing spaces. I'm not doing pop-ups. I'm not doing makeup. All those things that are make, that make me so happy, I've not been doing. So there was something kind of shocking to me when I ended up spending, you know, 12 hours a day in front of my computer. And I show you guys such a different side to my life. Like I film my makeup tutorial and put it up and then I weekly vlog. And I wonder if because of what I've shown you, that's all you think I do. Well, that's my fault. But it makes me a bit sad because I think just when you work, like I think that's actually partly why I'm emotional a wee bit because I'm just putting everything I've got into this. And it's a bit of a juggle because my like existing work still exists so instead of just doing that which I was bu I'm busy with like it's a full-time job in itself doing that I've got this other full-time job on top of that I find a huge comfort in someone just saying it is so hard um and it's not glamorous and I think I think I've been up like proper emotional because we've not really had a break and you know every time we look forward to our honeymoon and it got postponed like a little bit of me was like okay I'll just keep on going because it'll be so worth it when we get there and I remember saying that and suddenly so, like I just get like a shit comment like your life's like a honeymoon anyway and I was like I, I actually do work really hard <laughs> and it made me cry it made me cry <laughs> Anyway, just something that I've been thinking about, something that I've been feeling, you know, sometimes if I turn on the camera and inside I'm just like that. I just want to tell you, that's the whole point of this weekly vlogging and it, honestly there's something about saying it that makes me, like I, I hate the idea of getting, I don't know, someone just saying that my feelings aren't just or my feelings aren't like allowed. It's demoralising and it's something that comes with being online 
sometimes, rarely, but sometimes, and it can make you not want to say things and not bother and not be honest and candid about how you're feeling, but I guess I've just I just want to talk to you like normal again. I feel like I used to a lot, but especially after everything that's happened with the pandemic, people are angry, people are upset. There's other things going on in the world as well that people are angry and upset about, and rightly so. But all that energy needs to get released somewhere. And unfortunately, I think for you know people that create content online, we're such a like an easy place for someone to just go and me, 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 me. And it's just so mean, <laughs> so mean, and I hate it so much. And that's actually it's such like an ugly part of the internet. And I will say that I am so grateful and so lucky to have so many amazing people on here that that I feel really do truly care about me and I really truly care about you as well. But you, you always get that one. I mean, last week, I, I, my rant's nearly over. I don't think this is a rant, it's more like a chat. In last week's vlog, there was one comment that it really stood out to me because I was just like, ah, I can't not win now. Someone basically saying, I've followed you for a long time, but I can't relate to you anymore. Uh, and I think that you've lost touch. And then they go on to say that that's not really about me, it's more about them and the way that they feel. And it made me really think, because I was like, I feel like I'm a... How when do I start this? I feel like I'm a six year old, ver six year, six six years older version of who I was when I started on YouTube. I've changed a lot. I've got married, moved house, like started a business. I think honestly I went from like a late teen to an adult, and um, you know I th I think that there's something that's not nice about it. like that's something that you can so think it and you can and you can understand that that's how you feel about someone else that you know you used to like them and you no longer do it but you don't need to say it and actually i was thinking about it further you know one day me and jack would really like to have kids and there's probably a bunch of you that don't want to have kids and you're not interested in kids at all one day we might have a kid if we're lucky enough we'll have a kid and if i start talking about that kid online and you hate kids that's another reason that you might not find me relatable anymore. But that's not a reason for me to not live my life and have kids or aim to, you know, grow or start a business or move house or like, you know, it's just like a strange thing. It's like being angry that someone's changed in six years. I talk to Jack about this a lot and he's great. He's so level-headed and he listens and he really thinks about it. And usually his answers or his advice is really just it's just like, like if it's as if I'm upset, it's just like that, nothing to be upset about. But my argument, not argument, but my, the way that I stood up for myself was the things that were important to me six years ago are the same things that are important to me now. Nothing has changed. It's literally just my family. That's literally all I care about and being uh, secure. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to have a wee chat and uh, get that off my chest. Definitely not woe is me, feeling great, feeling fine, just tired. Uh, that's like my summary is hustle culture is bullshit. <laughs> Be nice to people online. If you don't like someone anymore, you can just go, you can go somewhere else. You don't need to tell. Uh, on a nicer note, you know, I didn't speak about all the lovely comments that I get, which I do read them all and they mean everything to me. Anyway, um, I'm going to run a bath and go to my bed. Jack's broken down. Hi. Oh. Ignore. <laughs> Hi. I filmed. We're just waiting for Jack to go home to edit. He's broken down. I feel really bad. Uh, when I film, I turn my phone off now just because every time I'm filming, I get phoned or texted and it always interrupts me. So I always just turn my phone off. And of course, this time something happens. Uh, so I'm just waiting on Jack getting back. We had a really great meeting this morning for Vive. It was a bumper meeting, it was two and a half hours long, but we were going through, it was like a strategy day. It was great. I was really jealous because there was like four or five of the team in London in the office. And it's just a shame. You just wish that everyone could be together. I filmed this makeup look, which I love. I think this is like my favourite look at the moment. I did it a couple of days ago and then 
it's the first time in a while that I've just been like so many people wanted a tutorial and it was really nice so I filmed it. Sun's out, it's warm, I am on a mission to get everything I need to get done, done so I can enjoy the weather this weekend because it's going to be like 20, 21 degrees Celsius and that's the first time that we've been in the 20s this year. So it's been, I feel like it was quite a long cold like winter and spring but with the weather turning around, it's exciting, it's good, it just feels nice to not have to have the heating on and to not have to like wear jumpers and dressing gowns and stuff inside, it's just so much better. Juno is doing really well. Look at her down there. Oh, baby dog. She's doing great. We had to put this cone back on her because she sneaky. We didn't know this, but she could get to her wound with the little donut on. So it was definitely better for her, but we had to put this back on her so she would leave herself alone. She was meant to be getting her all her stuff off tomorrow, but we've had a wee setback in her healing because of that. Guess what? Do you know? Guess what? <laughs> There's a big top. <laughs> That's an update from me. I'm in such a good mood and I was in such a good mood yesterday because we have moved some stuff around in the house. I'm in the office. I think this is the first time. Yeah, this is the first time that I filmed in here. So we've got some changes going on. I'm not going to show you in here because it's a mess and there's a lot of stuff lying out that shouldn't be, but today is the day to put it all away in its appropriate place. Into my amazing apothecary unit. But if we go out here, you will see that the living room is now free of the office. Again, it's a bit echoey in here, but I am so thrilled this always happens. So the office was all sitting here and now it's all away. So it's a nice, big, open, fresh space. And we also took the curtains down in here and in the dining room as well. It feels so much bigger and fresher in here without them. I think we should have just done that when we moved in. It just looks great. Like see from over here, I'm so happy and see with the, all the trees are proper, properly out. So like if I come through here and show you, all you see is trees from the window. It's so nice, really, really lovely. We also put this mirror in here. This was actually in the conservatory and we moved it in here just to bounce the light around a little bit. Uh, it's definitely not staying here, but I think it's nice for now. Oh, look at you, big dog. Hi. <laughs> we had a table that arrived that wasn't right, so it got sent back, but it was sitting here for ages and we got free of that. And we got rid of the curtains in here too. We're thinking, that this behind here might be more panelling, but we don't want to remove it in case it's not panelling and because we do not know what paint this is. It's the most amazing colour. It's like a like a gold bronze colour and that's what all the woodwork's been painted in here. I don't think we'll be able to find it again. So until we're, I don't know, changing something. I mean, I don't think I'll change the ceiling. I think it's so cool. But until we're painting this woodwork, I really don't want to remove these. And then in here, we've put the big mirror. Uh, I got loads of messages from you guys saying, careful about putting a mirror in a sunny place because if it bounces off the mirror, it can start a fire. Um, this is pretty shaded all day. There won't be like a lot of light on this for long at all. So I think we're all right, but we will keep an eye on it. But I just can't believe how much it opens up the space. It just makes it feel really, just amazing in here. I mean, it's one of my favorite rooms anyway, but look at that. So when you're sitting, this is what you see. It's really, really cool and definitely a bit squint. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. When you go out in the hall, we've actually put our old bedroom rug here for the dogs because they love lying here. It's just a little bit comfier for them. Again, it doesn't go, it doesn't go with the carpet or anything like that, but I actually really don't mind. And we moved the mirror away from here, which actually was doing the opposite of what a mirror should do. It was make, it made this area feel really small. The mirror itself, I've not, I don't think I've really spoke about where I got it from because I don't recommend it. It's a bit warped. It's not like the best quality mirror so it's like a little bit of a fun mirror so when you're walking down the stairs and you 
you can see in it it's like it's, it makes you feel quite sick because it's that warped way so I'm really glad that we got rid of it in an ideal world we might get like a like a chaise long here like a nice chair or something and some artwork on the walls or maybe a mirror up here would be better but this area feels so much nicer it's so much fresher and so much brighter as well which is so crazy because I think when the mirror was here it would reflect this which is actually quite busy. Like, see with the, the way that the walls are here, I think just with the light there and the dog bed and the stairs with that carpet and the busyness and then the bathroom, that being reflected into the room didn't do anything for the space. So it feels so much better in here. I think this light is really cool. Uh, we just need to find different light bulbs because these are all different in there. But I actually really like that one. This is really what it looked like when we came to see the house for the first time. It was just so bright and open and I like it just kind of took my breath away, all this space and the trees outside. I just love it. Uh, so yeah, there's a wee there's a wee feng shui update. Successful day in the office. I just ate a lot, a lot, a lot of food. We got a delivery from Block. Block. I ate probably like two dinners in one go. So that's good. And now we are just about to watch the Friends reunion. We've actually been watching Friends a lot lately. I think it's on Netflix, so of course, it's just a classic. I'm going between Money Heist and Friends, re-watching them both, and I'm totally fine with it. But I think that this is gonna be really good. I've already seen, we're watching it on Plus One just because I was finishing up work. I've already seen people online saying that it's really lovely. Uh, and I'm just excited to watch it. I think it's gonna be really good. I just got an email. Uh, I'm down in London next week. I have meetings and meeting with the team and meeting with some suppliers. Good stuff, really good stuff. It feels really nice to be able to do that part again. I don't know this job, you know, it's quite a solo job. Like you work a lot by yourself and a lot at home, but you're also quite social with like events and things like that and meetings and like trips, all the trips we used to go on, we'd spend like a really concentrated amount of time with a group of people who all ended up being like really great friends of ours. Um, no plans to see any of them yet, but I'm missing them a lot. I think social media is really nice for that, just because loads of the friends that I've made through this job feel like I get to see all the time just because I watch their stories. It must be similar to how you guys see my stories all the time. You must just feel like we're constantly in touch. And I think that Hopefully, hopefully soon there'll be like events and stuff again just because I really am missing spending time with people. We're going to go and watch this and I am going to give you a brief review afterwards. Hello, I'm in my car. Going to the salon. We're going to age refined for my top up appointments. About three weeks ago, I had my tweakments. Uh, oh my god, my battery's gonna die. Brilliant. Okay, I think I'm gonna end up getting a little Stay bit more. in the middle lane. Well, well, I'm not in the middle lane. A wee bit more Botox in my jaw, I think. My jaw's just really strong and I've been wearing a retainer at night. And it's not doing what it's meant to do. It's keeping my teeth where they're meant to be, but I am just chewing on my retainer all night, every night. So I'm kind of like feeling quite sore around here. That's what we're doing this morning. The Friends reunion was great. I cried a little bit. I just, I didn't realize how much I loved Friends. When I was in school, I watched the double bill of Friends left, every day. Left. Shut up! So, I saw this in Ikea and I looked great. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I've been thinking about this. Oh no, I said this. Okay. I said that this morning. Jit, 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 jit. This little kind of like leg with stand, leg with stand. <laughs> oh my god, cool! Judo. Judo. This side's got like a stand with what the fuck? What I should show. 